During World War II, Londoners took nightly refuge in the underground as German buzz bombs exploded above, but they were greeted with a different buzz, mosquitoes. In the 19th century, when London's tube was being dug, a population of mosquitoes colonized the tunnels. But they originally preferred biting birds above ground, but since pigeons don't ride the subway, they found a new target in rats, mice, and people. Now, just more than a century later, when the tube dwellers try to mate with their above ground cousins, it almost never results in viable offspring. The subway skeeters are becoming a new species right before our eyes, with different behaviors and different genes. Species are always more likely to emerge when a population gets isolated. Maybe one goes underground, maybe a river runs through them, or maybe one drifts out to sea. Once separated, a different drift occurs genetic drift. As time goes on, mutations accumulate and traits are selected by each environment until the two groups are sufficiently different that they can't mate, or as scientists call it, reproductive isolation. London's mosquitoes didn't invent this. It happened with the dozen or more tortoise species that Darwin found in the Galapagos. It created us and our extinct Neanderthal cousins. Small random changes challenged by nature have spawned each of the tens of millions of species alive today, and the hundreds of millions that are stuck underground. Stay curious. This video is part of our 12 Days of Evolution series. Check out more by exploring Darwin's beard. Find the links down in the description, or you can click that thing that just popped up on screen. Why don't you drift on over and watch the rest of our evolution series?